Um, the dog. <laughs> it seems that Commander Biden has a bit of a biting problem. Can you give us the latest and also any plans for him to perhaps make a move, go stay with some family and friends as, as Major Biden, the previous dog, did? So, as, as you all know, the White House complex can be unique and very stressful. Uh, and that is something I'm sure you all can understand. And, uh, and uh, it is, as I just said, is it, it is unique and it is stressful for all of us. So you can imagine what it's like for a family pet and family pets more, more broadly. And so, look, the first family is working through ways uh, to make this situation better for everyone. I think there was a statement that came out of the First Lady's office uh, from my colleague over there, uh, Elizabeth Alexander. So I'll just kind of lay out a little bit of what she put out in her statement. So they have been partnering with the Secret Service and executive resident staff on additional uh, leashing protocols and training, as well as establishing designated areas for commander to run and exercise. According to the Secret Service, each incident referenced was treated similarly to uh, to comparable, uh, comparable, pardon me, uh, workplace injuries with relevant notifications or reporting procedures followed. And so the President and the First Lady are obviously and continue to be incredibly grateful uh, to the Secret Service and executive resident staff for all they do to keep them and their family and the country safe. I don't have anything specific on any uh, changes um, uh, to, uh, to Commander's whereabouts, uh, so I'll just leave it there.